we're looking for uh, the rights to education, the rights to health care, the right to not be afraid of detention and deportation. We're good enough to work. We're good enough to stay. On Sunday, in honor of International Migrants Day, protesters gathered in the snow downtown Vancouver to call on Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to follow up on his promise to expand access to permanent resident status for all migrant workers. Omar Chu works closely with migrant workers, offering medical access regardless of one's immigration status in Vancouver. And he's fighting for migrant independence. So much of our system right now creates power dynamics that enable exploitation. So when you're dependent on a spouse, when you're dependent on an employer, when you're dependent on a school, for your right to be in this country. That enables abuse of power from those people that you're dependent on. Chu is calling for more rights for migrant workers and he says without permanent resident status, migrants experience abuse at work and denial of basic services including health care, family separation, unsafe housing, racism and discrimination and through his work he's heard of refugees not being welcomed. That the government doesn't believe them, that they don't think that they're actually fleeing uh, violence and persecution and, and that they're going to deport children who have only ever known this country and the tears and the trauma that that creates is something that uh, we have to stand together as a community to fight against. Protester Julie Diesta says there are currently 1.7 million undocumented workers in Canada waiting to become permanent residents. And it's been a year and until now we haven't heard anything from them. City News reached out to the Prime Minister's office but did not hear back in time for broadcast. Diesta is an advocate for migrant workers with no status because she used to be one herself and she understands what it's like to not have rights in a country. She shares a time when she would work long hours and felt exploited. Complaining is very difficult for them. It's because once they complain, they can be laid off at any time. There were so many experiences like that. The advocates here say one example of exploitation is when migrant workers may be subjected to deportation if they can no longer work because their status here is dependent on their employment. And you get hurt on your job and you can no longer work, then all of a sudden you're facing your, losing your status and facing deportation to this country. In Vancouver, Angelo Bauer, City News.